So the beginning of Michael Jordan's career was ridiculous. And MJ was coming off hitting his first game a winner against the Pacers. Brown with the inbounds pass. Kellogg driving in. Oh, blocked it! Jordan blocked the shot and ran out of bounds. Holy mackerel. Michael Jordan almost with a defensive play of the night. Oh, well, it was a great play. Even though he knocked it out of bounds, a great, great play. With the inbounds pass. Low feet. Kellogg. Woolridge trying to cover. Again, Jordan. He blocked it again. Michael Jordan blocked the shot again coming from the side. And a foul. A foul in the back court as Kellogg tried to steal it. Wow. That's what you call defense with a capital. Three or two here. Thomas, a three-point attempt. That's it. Oh, a big shot. Jim. Double teaming him. Jordan kicks it to Watley. Down to 12 seconds. You see the clock now. It's been inserted in your screen. Jordan. Jordan driving. He'll go for it. Yeah, he got it. He got it. He got it. Here comes Indiana. Vern Fleming. Two seconds. One second. He didn't get it off in time. The Bulls have won the ball game. The Bulls have won the ball game. Michael Jordan with that field goal. Finishing the night with 27. And the Bulls came storming back from a seven-point deficit early in the fourth oh, quarter. It looked to the side. It looked to the side. It rolled right around and went in. Here's Michael Jordan. Six seconds up. Takes the shot with six seconds. A man in front of him. A man behind him. Hits the rim. Almost comes out. Right back in. Watch it from floor level here now. This is what you call shooter's roll right oh, here, Ed. Boy. Look at that ball. Kisses the backboard yeah. in the basket. It was a heck of a performance, but a great moment at the end of the game, hitting his first game winner. So it was November 13th, 1984. The Chicago Bulls against the San Antonio Spurs. The Spurs team had some talent. They ended up going 41-41 and 41 that year. They had the eighth-rated offense in the NBA that year. And they lost to the Nuggets in a deciding fifth game of the first round, three games to two. They had Mike Mitchell, a quality player, a 1981 All-Star. Johnny Moore, the 1982 assist champion. Artis Gilmore, former Bull, got a nice ovation from the fans. Hall of Famer, 11-time All-Star, the 1972 NBA MVP. And you might be saying, wow, 1972, he must have been really old here. He won MVP in his rookie year, the great artist Gilmore. And then, of course, the biggest star of the San Antonio Spurs team, the Iceman, George Gervin. Hall of Famer, 12-time All-Star, a four-time scoring champion, absolute basketball royalty, the great George Gervin. 9,866 Bulls fans showed up to the basketball game. It's a great crowd. Then you also had future Bulls, John Paxson and Gene Banks on the Spurs as well. But I'm gonna tell you guys something about this basketball game. George Gervin scored 28 points in the game. The great George Gervin. Two of those 28 points came against Michael Jordan. MJ was forcing misses. MJ was denying him the basketball. And it got to a point in the game where you could clearly tell George Gervin said, screw this. If I have number 23 on me, I'm getting rid of this basketball. So this game takes historical relevance because you saw MJ strike fear into the heart of the Iceman, George Gervin. You saw a Bulls team that just fell completely flat in the second quarter. MJ, of course, jump on the back, get on Superman's cape. And then in crunch time, rookie Michael Jordan does it again. potent San Antonio Spurs basketball team coached by the man on the right of your screen, Lowell Cotton Fitzsimmons. He was 15-foot pop, missed it, and a nice rebound by Caldwell. San Antonio on the forward court, Mitchell posted up, missed on the shot, it's tipped out the Bulls have it. Jones tipped it out to Jordan, down the lane, all the way! Basket, he put it in! Well, he's got him standing in the aisles already. Very 
comes now. Billy bats and he turns it on and he becomes Captain Marvel. Slides down a lane, around, banks it in, and draws the foul. Captain Marvel. Gervin gets the foul. It's his first, and Jordan will try for the three-point play. It's there. And Jordan bringing it down the floor, driving, passes behind his back. Woolridge was not anticipating it. And you're right. He caused all kinds of problems for Gilmore, and who had a lot of trouble handling him. Couldn't stop that hook shot. Quick hands by Watley. Almost tore the ball away. Here's the power move over the middle. Gilmore. And as he was... 14th year in the NBA. Spurs are playing court at Chicago Stadium with the Bulls and the San Antonio Spurs. One on one. Look at Gervin and Jordan. Yeah, he feeds it in the medium post area. Gilmore right to the hoop. Front rims on it. And the Bulls. Steve Johnson saved to the sideline. Jordan got it. And the Bulls have the ball. Involved. They thought the ball was going on. Now watch the ball. Saved by Jones. And it just sort of hangs. Gervin comes after, but Jordan. Watch him. Looks like he's out of bounds. He hangs in the air, throws it back in. Forgotten that, but you're right. He was outstanding on Gilmore a year ago. Now, if Caldwell Jones can hold Gilmore down, then the Bulls have a pretty good formula here. They want to go one-on-one -on -one with Gervin, and Jordan just won't let him catch the ball. Yeah, he's having all kinds of trouble. He's running the baseline. They can't get it to him. Moore with a long one. Misses, and Jordan has the ball. I have to laugh. You know, he has that tongue hanging out the side of his mouth. You hope he doesn't get hit in the chin to bite it off. But uh, hope he doesn't swallow. He said he learned that from his father. His father used to do that when he was working. And uh, he used to hang around him as a young kid and watch him, and he just picked up that habit. Johnny Moore in the forecourt. Watley is on him, too. Very good ball handlers. Gervin low. Missed Steve Johnson. Yes, they did. Right. Yes, they did. Here's Gervin in the lane. Forces it up there. Front rims on it. Woolridge fighting for the board. Keeps it alive, and the Bulls come out with it. Lead for Jordan behind the back. Woolridge lost it going up. And Ron Mitchell, he hit the bottom of the basket, though. Lost Great. it. Good move. I have that as the fifth team foul, putting the bonus light on at 5.06. West Matthews, yeah. Jordan, who had been cut by the Philadelphia 76ers. We'll also see Jordan back in, and Steve Johnson comes out now. So Jordan's up front. Matthews and Daly at the guards. Jordan, Woolridge, and Jones up front. You know, here is Moore. Fakes the drive. Matthews holds him off. Looking low. Mike Mitchell, double team, goes up. Doesn't get it. The fade away. No. Fight for the board. Kept alive. Matthews. No, he went over the end line with it. He went over the end line with it, and the ball goes over. Bull's going to break that tie. Here if they can score. Jordan, nice move to the baseline, runs into heavy traffic. Yeah, he's got you on your heels. Man, oh man. Well, the Bulls, after being tied 17, they've come right back here with two quick baskets and taken a four-point four point Bulls lead at 23-19. In the forecourt, Michael Jordan. Banks guards him from afar. Jordan, right down the lane. <laughs> Bails out at the last minute. Daly's open. Wins the Bulls by six. Approaching the two-minute mark for the quarter. Jordan tried for the steal. Banks down the lane. Gervin almost stolen. Ball came loose. Bulls have it. Credit Quinton Daly with a nice steal in there. Jordan. Woolridge driving. Goes up. Foul. Travel, oh, travel with it. Sure enough. Or gets them both. And that backcourt is carrying them here early. Three seconds. Two seconds. Here's Jordan. He'll fire a three-pointer. Got it. He put it in. He just beat the buzzer. the end of one quarter of play here from the stadium. Wow! Well, just a few moments, you Sports Vision viewers saw a great way to end the first quarter. I'll tell you, Michael Jordan did it all. Dave Corzine in the inbound pass, mm. flying Michael Jordan comes down. Now watch him. He knows where the three-point area is. He pulls up, stop, lets it fly. Beautiful on a jump shot. Ball rotates beautifully. I don't know if it'll catch anything but the net. For three. Simple enough. Nothing to it, huh? That's how you can score in three seconds. Oh, Jones, he's a leaper. He tries to protect any mistakes to Matt made, but these are the kids that hustle it for you. Jordan with a head fake. Down the lane he goes. Pass to Corzine. Didn't want to take the shot. Daly does. Misses on it. Mitchell. Kevin said today, uh, hey, he's out of it. He served his sentence, and that's it. Bulls have the rebound after the miss. They'll go to break the tie. Jordan. Two minutes old here in the second quarter. Paxson spinning through. The rebound comes out. San Antonio has it. The Spurs on top by four. Jordan with the steal. Driving. The play slam. Thank you, ma'am. <laughs> and so now it's in and out for San Antonio. Those other players are great, but these guys, uh, they give you some free things. They give you a lot of hustle. Ozell Jones raises his hand, says, I got him. Already driving. Spun it up off the rim. No. Rebound tipped out. Jordan goes up for it. Hanging in the air. We had a whistle. 
We had a whistle in there deep. Jordan appeared to be fouled as he was trying to swing through. And Big Fred Roberts is the guy who got it. All right, watch the hang time again. You don't know if he's going to shoot, pass it off, or what. He goes up, hangs, 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 finally gets hit by Roberts, and he'll get rewarded for two at the free throw line. So Jordan will go into the foul line here, and he has eight points to the moment tonight. I suppose of all the things, certainly one thing I've been very impressed with is his foul shooting. Came in leading the team at over 84%. And he misses them early in the first three quarters. When it comes right down to the game, Bill, he is really... Really top show. Yeah, he, he doesn't miss when it counts. It just seems he has an uncanny ability there to hit them when they count. Low Jordan turned around. He put it up. He almost put that in, and the ball was out of the way. Boy, if Jordan would have put that ball in, I think this crowd would have gone absolutely nuts. So down. Big Dave, after a good start, has gotten a little bit cool here. Spurs by five. This is a good offensive basketball team. And Gilmore back in the middle against Corzine. Here is Michael Jordan, a long one. He sticks it. Michael Jordan goes against him four minutes ago. Uh, the Bulls went, have gone dry here for a little bit. They paid the price for it. Out to the Bulls after the miss by Jones. Long pass, Jordan driving. He slams it right over the top of Ozell Jones. Well, they put Ozell Jones at the forward spot. Michael Jordan came down. Turned into Captain Marvel again. Watch him come down. Now watch eight slide over near screen. He sees him up, up, up. They both go and up, powering over the top. Not only has he got that jumping ability, he's got the strength. Here we get one more angle at it. A good angle. That's over a 6'11". This is the biggest lineup that San Antonio can feel. 7 2, 6 11, 6 11. Now we had a whistle of the quarter. You talk about their biggest lineup, and they didn't even have George Gervin in there. Now Gervin yeah. comes in. Oh. And what has been a very high scoring first half, and it's been one of these end to end type games. Each team has been trying to fast break on the other. Roberts on the wing. George, uh, Warwood at the other. He's so strong, he can just power it over people. Here's a lob. Oh, George caught it and really jammed it down home. Stadium. Low feed, nice pass. Blocked by Jordan as Paxson tried to put it up. Jordan came across. Here are the Bulls. Counter attacking. Jordan underneath goes up for it. Foul. As he tried to put it in, Fred Roberts trying to deny him and he picks up personal number two. Well, he just watched the block shot. Now here's the pass. Artis Gilmore lays it up. Up and uh, block shot by Jordan, and now he beats it down to court. He gets a ball that won't come up off the floor. He manages to get control, go up in a crowd. I think it's Roberts that got up. The ball went up, and he missed it. And Kevin Lockery during that. Going over. off of Watley's total. It's the one we told you was Watley's. It actually was Caldwell Jones. And Jordan misses a free throw, and that's the first time I've seen him frustrated with himself. He was kind of disappointed with himself there. Dave Corzine back into the Dave ball in there. Jordan has a 15-point first half. He's there with it, 16 now for the rookie out of North Carolina. At 27 points, including the game winner against the Indiana Pacers. Down to two minutes left for the quarter. Second quarter of play from the stadium and Paxson. George Gervin, with both of those. Good thing Michael Jordan came in the second quarter. The Bulls would have only about five points. Yeah. Corzine, okay, watch him. They're pulling out. I see the big men all drifting out. Now watch a little two-on-two -two basketball here. A little isolation here. And foul call. Jordan was coming around. And Paxson got hung up in the pick. And, John, and he right. committed the foul. That's his first. And that'll put yeah. Jordan on the line. Okay, uh, the last time uh, Artis Gilmore tried to get the ball down low, Corzine fronted him. And then Steve Jackson came behind him. And Artis went to make his move. He just piled over the top of uh, Steve Jackson and picked the foul up. 17 points for Jordan. And the Bulls have clawed back. They were once nine down. Now they're four down, and they could cut it down still more. They do. Jordan with an 18-point first half, and the Bulls are on the move. They pulled it back to within three. We're down to a minute five. You know, the Bulls got way out in front of them. Well, hold on, watch him. Keep your eye on Gervin. He's nowhere yet. He's got Michael Jordan on him. They're going to post him up. They tried to. Jordan, you see, he has both arms up in the air trying to deny him. Have fought back the trail by only four after being behind by as many as nine in the second that would quarter. Be the case, wouldn't you? Right. Third quarter action. Now the Bulls have it to start the third. They trail by four. The old pro team. Uh, he may give it up to number 23 on the other team. He doesn't uh, want to do that without a fight. He starts all the Spurs. Well, right now a five-point lead. 
Johnny Moore. Uh oh. Up way up. Jordan couldn't get out of the way, cutting down a lane. Now, Michael and Mitchell that draws a foul, and they don't want Kevin doesn't want him to get in foul trouble that way. Michael Jordan picks up personal number three, and the Bulls have two quick team fouls here. Ah, the Bulls bench wanted that ball over the end line. He'll be handling it an awful lot. Enos Watley will uh, sit down. Daly. Now you have uh, the Bulls Jordan. come out with it. Here's Jordan over the top. The ball came loose. Nothing was called. Jordan got it back. And a fresh 24 as the Bulls have it in oh. And the Bulls come out of there with it. Lead to Jordan. Spinning. He'll take it. He makes it. Michael Jordan with his first two of the second oh. half. Back. It was blocked. Steve Johnson blocked the shot. Here's Daly. Beautiful what a pass. What a block by Steve Johnson. And then what a pass by Michael Jordan to Daly. And that brings these Bulls fans to life. Time out on the floor. It's the Spurs by three. To intimidate him. And the Spurs come out with it. The pressure on and Mitchell was open and he has 11. That's what the Spurs can do to you. Say the pass. Here's Jordan around the screen. Three point opportunity as Moore fouled him. He got around the screen late and he's strong enough. Yeah, he's so strong he held on to it because Johnny Moore had put some good pressure on him. Scotty Robinson just went over and talked to Ozell Jones and patted him on the back and said, listen, everything's going wrong. But don't worry about it. Keep in there. Things will fall right yeah. for you. Good job by Scotty. And Jordan knocks in a three-point one. Twenty-five points for Michael Jordan. And uh, the out-of-bounds of San Antonio. By the way, Scotty Robertson, former Bulls coach, wanted to say hello to everybody in the Chicago area. I was talking with him before the game, and he's one of the really nice people in this game. And he has so many fond memories of people around here, and he wanted to be sure to say that he inquired, wanted to pass along best wishes to everybody. Oh, there's Mitchell with another one. He has 13. He's got the last three from the same spot. The Bulls better wake up. They know yeah. he can shoot from there. There's Jordan looking on the near side. They're trying to look for Steve Johnson. Johnson has a mismatch situation with Mike Mitchell. Here's Jordan. He's going to take one, and he puts it in. Jordan has 27, and he's come to life. And now it is a five-point Spurs lead. Uh, good move on, on Quinton Daly. Air fire. Misses. Both can cut it to one if they score. Here's Jordan down the middle, all the way. Look at this crowd. Look at this crowd up on their feet. He went right down the middle on Artis Gilmore. Slammed it over the top of the big man. And a timeout will be taken by the San Antonio Spurs, and this crowd has come alive. thought we went away for a break. We're going to pause. We will take that break. No, no, here it is. All right. There's a slam on a break. Listen to this crowd. They're on their feet. It was a 20-second timeout. Oh, yeah. They took. Listen to this crowd. Michael Jordan getting them going. I haven't heard anything. This is a great place to play basketball. The Chicago Stadium oh, yeah. been around a long, long time. Everybody on their feet here. And Captain Marvel comes back again. Running down, watch, he's got Ernest McGilmore on the back pedal, up, 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 and away. He just went, flew right by Gilmore, left him in the dust. Listen That's to this. Second. Michael Jordan gets a little break here, he needs it. Boy, they give it to him. Listen to this. And Wes Matthews come in as his replacement. There's Michael Jordan sitting down. The Bulls finally go to the bonus at 154. San Antonio had the bonus for almost six minutes longer than the Bulls. And they also get another shot at it that the Bulls have given up. The shot has been missed, and uh, San Antonio came up with the rebound the first time by Banks. That time it was tipped out of bounds by the Bulls. You've got to come up with the Bulls. Sidney Green still in and Corzine. And Caldwell Jones up off of the bench. He'll come on for Corzine. Bulls have to go to their first unit here. Here's Jordan firing a long one. Dumps it right in. Michael Jordan with 31. And the Bulls pull back to the three-point deficit here. Double team. Six to shoot. Mitchell traveling. The Bulls get it back. You call for a turnover, Bill. You got it. Court. Up off of the bench comes the Iceman. He's ready to step back in. Paxson covered by Watley. Travel to Shuffle. Shuffle stepped there a little bit. He seemed to slip. Paxson can run his ball club. He is a smart, good guard. Oh, and Jordan blows right by Banks like he was standing still. 
Michael Jordan with a total of 33 points. They're going to need a big night out of him. His career best is 37 in a Bulls uniform. Oh, he just missed the steal. Packs it. Low feed to Mitchell. Goes up for a shot block. Jordan foul. Well, nobody likes it here, but Jordan went up and tomahawked the ball. He could have just gone up and swooped. Gently taking it with his left hand. Watch it. It's too dramatic a shot here. He goes up in the air. They gave it to Johnson. Well, I think. okay. Uh, Steve Johnson picked up his fourth. Mike Mitchell just beat the buzzer. He has 16. And it's the Spurs by two. Here's Jordan. What a move to the baseline. He drives in. Passes off. Jones. Yes. Hobo Jones has six. And the Bulls have tied it. Boy, these fans are getting revved up now. Seven and a half minutes. Playing very well. The Bulls still have a chance to win it. A very good sure. chance. Now the score even at 100. And more. All the way back to tie it. But they've been able to take the lead. Woolridge to Watley. Bulls playing for the tie again. Jordan, he'll take a long one. Michael Jordan with 35. He's within two of his career high in a Bulls uniform. He'll be breaking that all year, I'm sure. Yeah, he sure will. Woolridge out front. Bulls score, they take the lead. Jordan, he'll go for it. He's tied his season high have taken the lead the first time they've led in a long long time and a timeout taken by the san antonio spurs and the fans come to their feet for a standing ovation with 519 left yes sir there's some of the bulls fans the chicago bulls have come from a long way back they trail by nine twice in this game they've come back red and with the time remaining as you see it chicago's back on top again and Johnny Kerr just got one of those small basketballs and flipped it into the stand. Good hook shot, right? <laughs> like the ones you used to make when you were playing in the league. I think it threw my arm out of whack. <laughs> you got to remember now, Michael Jordan, give him a two-point lead. Uh, he's tied it up. He's got eight out of, the, out of the 16 points in the fourth quarter. Bulls scored 519 to go. Your first place, Chicago Bulls. Yeah, they're right. very, very tough. Here's Ozell Jones to Mike Mitchell. Mitchell's covered by uh, Orlando Woolridge. Feed to Jordan. Oh, what a move he just put on. Oh, what a move. 39, automatic. 39 points. Jordan has 10 for the quarter. Spurs know they're going to him every time. Michael Jordan down low on the ice man. Watch him. Trying to keep the ball away. They did so. They gave the foul to Steve Johnson. Here's the story on Jordan. That looks like a football game. Doesn't it? Six in the first, 14. They missed the free throw. They got a safety and field goal and a touchdown so far. Got the rebound. Here's Gervin. It goes to Walridge. They have Jordan posted down on the baseline with Moore. Now he pops out. There's the ball for him. He takes the shot. He has 12 points for the quarter. And it's the Bulls by a point at 111 to 110. We're approaching two minutes left of the game. Feed the one, and there's a miss there. Bulls across the timeline. Timeout. Timeout. Uh, Jordan with the sound we had in here did not hear it. The Bulls have called time. Bulls taking a timeout. There's a look at Michael Jordan. As you see, he's gone over a season high with 37. There's the score on the board. Man, what a 41 kinds of points. I was just looking here at my score sheet. He had 20 in the first half. He's got 41 in the game. He's been to the line once in the second half. Well, I'll he tell you. I'd say he's brought this place to their feet. Excitement here that uh, we haven't seen till, since the 70s. In case you're curious, the individual's regular season's game scoring record for the Bulls is held by Chet Walker, who had 56 points in a game against the old Cincinnati Royals at Chicago in 1972, in February of 1972. And uh, I guarantee you that Chet, knowing him and his moves, I bet he was at a free throw line about 18 <laughs> times that quarter. <laughs> Two minutes. Very important. Pass to Gilmore. Under pressure. Down goes Moore. Gilmore, he'll take the shot. That's not the one he wants to shoot. The rebound, the Bulls have it. Jordan. Michael Jordan got the rebound. Advantage. Up in the air. Banks won the tip, but it went to Jordan. Jordan driving. Basket. Michael Jordan with 43, and the Bulls have a five-point lead. Timeout San Antonio. They take one of their two remaining. What a big job by Steve Johnson again. He got the tip.
Michael Jordan stayed back. He stayed back to, pre to, to uh, give him a little presence in the backcourt. The tap came to Michael Jordan. He went down. He saw Johnny Moore. Banks trying to catch up. Takes it in one hand, protects it. And just out of the way goes Johnny Moore and up off the glass and floating through for his 43rd, 42nd, 43rd points. Bulls five point lead, 49 seconds. Look at the reaction. They love it here. This kid has come to lead them. I'll tell you, he yeah. has done such a job. Can Captain one player Marvel. make a difference, Red Kerr? Oh, can it? Oh, and it doesn't necessarily have to be a seven-footer. I'll tell you, this guy right here in the center of the screen is a real architect. He's put together a good ball club. I've always said that when you're drafting guards, you can draft 50 guards a year. You can draft 15 forwards. There's only two centers in the league, but this time it seems to be only one guard. Yeah, I'll say. Well, you know, I think somebody put it right when they said he really defies position. He plays everywhere. He's a guard. He's a forward. He blocks shots. He does it all. I can't remember uh, what Pete Newell said. There's a basket on each end of the yeah. court, and he'll play any position Jordan, in between. Right. Them. Jordan can play any in any system, or his words. He said, Pete Newell said he can play in any system as long as there are two baskets and a basketball in between. All right, here they go. 25 seconds left. Here's the pressure. Jordan brings it across, dribbling. Eight seconds left. Mitchell driving, no, and the board. There you go. It's, it's the line. It's the picket line. All right, the Bulls get it inbounds to Jordan. Trying for a steal was Robertson, Robertson and he drew the foul. Robertson gets his first. Now you need George Gervin back in. Well, here he comes now. Okay, yeah. Artis comes back in. They took him out. They're platooning now. They're offensive and defensive units. That's right. They took uh, Mitchell, Artis Gilmore out, and Gervin in. They needed some defensive, very quick players. Scotty doesn't have any, I mean, uh, Scotty, I want to call him, he's, he's there in the bench with him. Yeah, yeah. But Cotton Fitzsimmons, does he have it? I think he's got a timeout left. I think he's got one yes, left. Yes, he does. According to my chart, he has one left. Jordan at the line. Boy, you like this guy when the pressure's on. He just doesn't miss. 44 points for Jordan. I believe that is the top performance in the league this year. If it isn't, it's right near it. Jordan, 45. Doesn't miss when it's time. 45 points. I believe that is the best performance in the league this year by an NBA player. Moore looking. Kicks it to Mitchell. He's going to take a three-pointer. Long one. That is it. The Bulls right. came off of the rebound. Didn't matter. The Bulls have won the ball game, by golly. They've defeated the San Antonio Spurs in a magnificent comeback effort by a final score of 120 to 117. So there you guys go, man. Another incredible performance from a rookie, Michael Jordan. Isn't it easy to forget, for those of you watching these games for the first time, isn't it easy for you to forget that Jordan's a rookie here because he's so dominant on both ends of the court? And now you can see why Jordan fans so feverishly defend his legacy. I mean, you guys, you can see it for yourself. What you're watching is next level.